And then he looked and there for watch this. Uh, watch this. Something broke you. Something an angel touched him and said to him, Arise and eat. In other words, you gotta get you something to eat. You can't constantly feed everybody and never feed yourself. Yeah. Oh, no. Amen. And you can't be too busy caring about people that you forget to care about you. Yes, oh, that's right. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. That's right. Amen. Hallelujah. Hello? Right. So if you don't care enough about you, that's true. To be revived, and you're not going to be good for folk who you care about. That's right. Glory to God. Hello? Every now and then you got to have your self to see. They're going to talk about you anyway. <laughs> You gotta have your what? A selfish season. Where you go and sit up on the broom tree and let God feed you sweet sounds from yeah, heaven. Yeah, yes, yes. Glory yes. to God. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. All of a sudden he eats and the Bible says that he looked and there by his head was a cake baked on coals and a jar of water. So he ate and drank and he laid down again. And the angel of the Lord came back the second time and touched him and said, Arise and eat because the journey is too great for you. You cannot. Come on, attempt to fulfill the journey of God without getting spiritually fed. Yes. 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 Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. 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 Hey! Jesus. Because the succession of your ministry will not be programmed, you host. Oh. Instructions. God has given you a strategic plan, and when you leave 
from this mountain, you will never be the same pastor, the same preacher, the same bishop, the same apostle, the same prophet you were before you got on the mountain. You coming down off of the mountain with some instructions, with some strategy, with a plan. It didn't matter who followed you or who quit or who walked out the doors. Hello, you got a plan hanging over your head and it's going to bring your faith to another level. People are following you, but because you got a word from the Lord, Look your neighbor say people that follows you should not ignite your faith because of the enlargement of the crowd. Some people feel like working ministry when the church get back. That means you're driven by the wrong things. If the church is empty, honey, you still should have faith to do what God called for you to do. Why? Because you got a word from the Lord. Somebody shout, I got a word from the Lord. To revival. He says, I want to revive you. I want to put you in a place where you can lay up on the broom tree for a couple of days and get a word because when you come from the broom tree, I'm going to commission you to go to the mountain of Harab. And when I take you to the mountain, I'm going to give you an encounter that's going to knock you off of your feet, that's going to let you see me for who I am, that's going to let you see how low the enemy is and how high the God you serve is. Are you hearing what I'm saying here? That when you come down from the mountain, you're going to have vision faith. Are you hearing what I'm saying here? It's not going to be clipped up with everybody to get a door open or get a name out there. But you're going to go and do what I call for you to do because you got a word hanging over your life. The Bible says he come down from the mountain and then he goes in the cave himself. After a mountaintop encounter, the Bible says he goes back to the same complaining spirit. He said, God, there's nobody left out here. I can't find nobody to work ministry. Nobody's coming to church. Nobody's paying their tithes. Nobody want to work ministry. I'm by myself. I just rather die and quit and throw in the tower. I know you said I got vision. I know you said I got a word on my life. I know you said I'm going to be successful. I know you said I'm going to be prosperous. But I ain't seen nothing yet. So my faith is low. So the angel comes back in and said, I showed up under the tree. Showed up on the mountain. Now I'm going to show up in your cave. And the angel says the same message over and over again. God's not going to give you another revelation until you receive the first revelation. God says, come out of there. What are you doing here? Look at your name and say, name. What are you doing right here? They got too much destiny over your life. They got too much potential over your life. They got too much glory over your life. Come be right here. Show yourself on the shoulder and say, name. I got too much that God invested in my life to be right here. There's too much that God's spoken over my life the same old people, dealing with the same old problems, dealing with the same old issues. Look at somebody and say, I'm moving. I'm moving from this place after this night. And then Elijah steps out and the Bible says the angel gives him instructions. The angel said, go down the road. I know you had not had any good members in a long time, but I'm about to release you to the people that will receive the anointing that I put on your life. I'm about to send you to some people that's waiting on you to divorce people that don't like you anyway. I got some people that's waiting on you that's waiting on you to get away from environments that's not receiving your anointing. The Bible says Yeah. <laughs> 
country. And I know how to handle this. Tell somebody, I know it now. I know how to handle this. The devil should have